And here we are at the 133 pound match. It's Roberto Colon of Eastern Michigan against Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith uh, went to the Nationals last year for UB. He's an outstanding wrestler. And he quickly with the takedown. Right away, that's what a ranked guy is supposed to do, so that's what he did. He's got uh, 86 wins for UB in his career so far. He's a junior. He's got uh, the rest of this year and next year to get over that 100 mark real easily. 29 and 10 overall. He's 8 and 5 dual record this year. He uh, hails from central New York and uh, is looking, I'm sure, to return to the Nationals and do some damage this year. Everybody seems to be leg riders nowadays. You know, Walton was, Jermaine was, and now Smith is also. But legs are tough. They put those legs in and start cranking on your head. By the time your seven minutes is up, your head is very, very tired. And I think that's what happened to Jermaine. But uh, he got a little bit of life there and won the match five to four. I don't know if we're going to go stalemate here. Nope, he's going to let that arm go. There we go. Back up on top again. Hips up again. Hips up again. Kevin Smith maintaining that leg ride. <laughs> Cologne close to reversing positions here. I think he's going to get it. Yes, he's got he it there right there. Go. Yep. He's got a big strap on his shoulder, too. Looks like he has a bad shoulder. And... Colon put the legs in and goes right, right to work. Cologne nine and four and dual records uh, meets the season. He's 17 and seven overall. So he's got a glossy record as well for the junior. Just no respect for ranked guys, huh? <laughs> you ranked in the country, you're supposed to win easily. Not nowadays, everybody's tough. Well, Smith is going to get points here. He's going to get points here. He pops his head. He's going to get some back points. Yeah, he's going to get some back he's got points, the two. Too. He's got to get him over 45 degrees and hold him for a two point. Oh, his shoulder's way around his head. I don't think he's going to go. One minute remaining. One minute to go. Kevin Smith up by 4-2 count. He's going to have to regroup that. I don't think he can turn him. Colonel's got his left arm out there for support, and he can't get him over. I thought he was going to get back points there. Awful close. One point escape is for Michigan. Figures he's better on the feet, so he's going to try to take him down again. Twenty-five seconds to go. I don't know if they're trying to. Just, Nobody wants uh, to commit here. Yeah, you know, I don't know if they're just trying to ride this, ride the period out, or. But Smith let him go real easily. It looked like he wanted to take him back down, but it wasn't an offense to move in there. Maybe he just can't get close enough. Smith with the shot. Clone holding on. Final seconds of the period. Yeah, he made that oh. shot from way out. Now, Cologne did that to uh, just try to get a cheap takedown if he could. And like that, you see, he almost got in trouble, so he didn't want to do it with a lot of time left. UB's going to take down. Eastern Michigan has yet to win here at UB. They're 0-5. Oh, here in the alumni the arena? Here. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Trying to break that skid tonight. UB's won the last two meetings between the two teams. Back to the leg riding again. Nice awful mat level the, shot there. Yeah, awful lot of that defense is just trying to make sure that you don't get in a bad position so you get cranked over on your back. Then when the top man loses something, like his leg gets loose or something like that, then they make, you know, capitalize on that like Kevin Smith did and reversed him the last period. No, you're right, Eric. We've got a couple of leg riders out there. Well, we're four for four now, the first two weight classes. There, he got his leg out, so now let's see if we can see some wrestling here. It's about a minute to go in the match. Uh, there's a stall warning. Got to at least have an attempt to work your way up. 
you're going to take an attempt to work your way up the line. Sometimes you can't, but you have to attempt to do it. Smith doesn't want to get those legs back in there again, so he's fighting hard. Pass that leg over his head if he can. Cologne doing a nice job so far of riding out Kevin Smith. He's at 25 seconds on the plus side of riding time at this point. Back to a stalemate call. That's a tough situation since Cologne had his leg scooped on one end and Smith had his leg on the other end. So that's the only thing they can do there with stalemate. Well, as we saw from that last match, and right there, getting that fresh start, significant, and Kevin Smith gets the escape. Wanted to get out of there before he got that leg in again. We're under 10, and usually not too much happens under 10 until you get to the third period. The guy that's losing is going to come at you big time. Score at the end of the second period. Buffalo 5, Eastern Michigan 3, third period. And we're looking at the 133-pound match. Kevin Smith, the red-shirted junior from UB, taking on Filberto Cologne from Eastern Michigan. And it's a close one, 5-3, Smith. Smith just let him go. He just wanted to get up on the feet again. Didn't so want to get five, on the mat. So now it's 5-4. Uh, riding time is in Cologne's hands, but Smith feels much more superior on the feet than he does on the mat with Cologne. Oh, this is twice he tried to do that. Same move twice. This time Smith's going to get back points. Take down and back points. He could go for the pin right here. Kevin Smith. A lot, Kevin of time, Smith. a lot of time. Just control him. That's twice the same move that, uh, that Colin tried to do to get him over and didn't work either time. Smith has a lot of time to work this. Looking for the pin, Kevin Gallagher checking for the shoulder blades. 111, 109, 18. You gotta remember one thing, college is a little bit different again. One shoulder inbounds, you're inbounds. The other shoulder out of bounds, you can still get pinned and give up back points. Oh, he got back to his knees again. Now we know why he's got a shoulder wrap. He's flexible. That's going to make the score uh, 10 to 4 when he lets go of this. So he's still going to crank on him and crank on him and crank on him. The coaches are still encouraging Smith to look for, look for the pin here, look yeah. for the fall. Yeah, Potentially show, dangerous. Yeah, he had the leg trap, the arm was all tied up, everything was there. I mean, the young man from uh, Eastern Michigan did a great job. He didn't want to get pinned. He put himself in some real real bad positions here. He is hurting. Yeah, he's paying the price for fighting off that pin right there. And This is where he first went, scooped the head, looking for the fall right here, Eric. And I thought he was going to get it right there because he had it deep. He had him sunk right there, up, right up to his elbow. That was great. But then all of a sudden, his arm uh, slipped out a little bit and got back to his knees, and then the crank started on the shoulder. That's where he knew if he went over, he got pinned. He was in trouble with his team. He took one for his team there. He did a great job. Well, he never let his hips get turned, and as long as he kept those those hips torqued, Smith wasn't able to keep the, that second shoulder down. Right, I think if Smith would have just took his hand and put it in between his legs, he kept his hips from being torqued over. He probably might have had him a little bit easier. But you can see why Cologne has a bad shoulder, because every time he turns around, his elbow's on the other side of his head. Okay, 30 seconds to go here in the match. Kevin Smith well in control now. He's up by 10-4 count. He lets him go. It's now 10-5. He's going to look for another takedown. He feels, again, he feels much more superior on the feet than he did uh, on the mat, so therefore he didn't want to take a chance. There, Cologne's going to try it again. The same move the third time, but he didn't do it this time because he knew he'd go to his back and probably give up an eight-pointer, which is another team point for his team against him. I'm sorry, for UB's team. Four seconds to go. They're going to start him back out in the middle. Four seconds remaining. And this match is uh, all but over.
And Kevin Smith's going to pull out the 10-5 to 5 count. That's going to tie our team score at three. 